so we have a lot of protests going on around the island. Um, Prime Minister Skerritt has accused the opposition of inciting riots. What are your thoughts? Care to comment on that? The opposition has incited no riots. Mr. Skerritt is the chief lawbreaker in Dominica. He's a serial violator of the constitutional rule of law. It is as a result of his violation of the constitutional provisions for free and fair elections and the constitutional, the law of Dominica, his disobedience to the law insofar as the free and fair elections are concerned that has us where we are. Mrs. Skerritt for 15 years has, has unconstitutionally violated no, no, he has unconstitutionally prevented the Independent Electoral Commission, the Electoral Management Body for Dominica, in getting its work done in free and fair elections, in having the list of electors clean and issuing ID cards for voting. These are the two basic reforms that are in question now and have been in question for the last 11 years. Where else in the civilized world, where else in the civilized world do you find a situation where it takes more than 10 years for an independent electoral management body to put arrangements in place to have a sanitized list of electors and ID cards for voting? I suggest to you nowhere else, but that is the responsibility of Roosevelt Skerritt because he was told in 2008 that it would, such reforms would destroy his re-election legacy. He is the one responsible for where we are and everybody is asking for peace but nobody is asking about the justice that is being denied the people of Dominica by one man, Roosevelt Skerritt, who is the chief offender of the laws of Dominica and the constitution of Dominica. And it has come to this, where especially the young people of the country feel they have to push back against this resistance. They have to push back against not the resistance, but this oppression. They have to resist the oppression. They have to resist the oppressive, abusive behavior of the head of government who wants to deny them free and fair elections, who wants to decide for them who their government should be in a system that is supposed to be electing government of the people, by the people, for the people. That is what this is all about. And those who are concerned about Dominica need to speak to the issues, not the hype, not the propaganda, not the emotion. They need to speak to the issues. OK, one more question. What do you think your chances are going into the election? We have good chances going into the election, but we have the deck is stacked against us. We have a government that is not allowing free and fair elections, so we are up against this unfairness on one hand. We are up against the whole question of the government using the money belonging to the people to fly in voters from other countries to come in and decide the election for those of us who are living in Dominica. If they were allowing everybody to come in and to pay their own passage, that's fine. But the fact that they're doing it for uh, uh, one set of people is bribery. And bribery is against the election laws of Dominica. So you have the Prime Minister involved in an elaborate scheme of bribery to steal the election in Dominica. So it, we cannot have a fair election. Nor can we have a free election on Friday because of all the guns of the regional security system that are here, the guns of police officers, the barricades the demonstrations around the country, people not being free to move and so on. That's not a free election, nor would it be a fair election. But in contesting the election, we are standing for the best interests of Dominica and hoping that against all these significant odds, we can come through with a victory for the people of Dominica. So a new day will dawn in this Commonwealth of Dominica.